Let's go. We're back in the cave of origin. We're down here. Let's let's swap our order out. Let's swap our order out. Let's swap our order out. Let's swap our order out so we can rock slide from the get go and maybe get a flinch or whatnot. We're gonna go through all this again. So I'm gonna save once we get down there, right before he primal evolves. That makes me so angry. I feel like uh, I feel like if he would have had just a little bit more HP, he would have lived that. We would have taken him right down to like one HP left. We could have started ultra balling him. Now we gotta sit through all of this again. Uh, let's go, yo. Let's go, yo. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go through all your shenanigans again. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I didn't save before he did that. I don't know why I didn't do that. We could have skipped all this. Because now we gotta dive all the way back down there. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I enjoy seeing it all over again. But it's gonna be like an extra minute or two that's just wasted. Trying to get down there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Pokemon should not be this intense. It should not be this draining. Oh, we gotta catch Primal Kyogre. But even then, that's different, because like in the regular games, you're battling regular Kyogre, and now we're battling Primal Kyogre, which has significant higher stats. You know what I mean? Either way, that Origin Pulse completely and utterly annihilated Laobao. Just destroyed him. I feel so bad. I feel so bad for Laobao. He just got bopped right away. Yo, look at the bottom screen. I didn't even notice that last time. The bottom screen, the, the buzz nav is just completely just gone. The pokey nav itself is just gone. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Change out the goddamn suit. I like how Kyogre, like, brought us down here. You know what I mean? I like how Kyogre brought us down here. Like, he knew. Like, he knew we're the one. I mean, we have the red orb, so I guess he knows by that we're the one. But hey, we get to watch him primal evolve again. A nice and powerful animation. Oh my goodness. I want to see how much Rock Slide does from him with full HP. Yo, I'm telling you, this music. It's too good. Oh my lord. <clears throat> It's just powerful. The power! Oh my lord, the power! Like, I'm so mad! Like, it kills my OCD that we didn't just catch him on the first attempt, that we had to restart. It kills my OCD. Because it's like, it was our flawless battle is just gone. Mm, Mega Evolve again. Mega Evolve. Primal Revert again. And big ass flippers just slam on the water. Let's go. Let's go. Bum, ba dum, da dum, da dum, da bum, ba dum, da dum, da dum. Oh my lord. Okay, okay, Alex Luis. I said this before we even came down here. You were the one we started this adventure with, and you're the one that we're doing all this shit with too as well. I should EQ him and see how much that does. Which we rock his fucking world with an earthquake from a mega fucking swampert. Let's go, yo. I want to rock slide and try to get a flinch, because we outsped him in the last battle. Let's go, Alex Luis. You got this, nigga. You got this. See, now he outspeeds us, so I'm guessing it's got to be a speed tie of some sort. God damn, that was a crit. Shit. Can I get a crit? It didn't do anywhere near as much damage. All right, we got to heal up right off the bat. Right off the goddamn bat. Go for your awkward, yo. Give us a free turn. Go for your Aqua Wing. I'm gonna EQ the shit out of him this time. Aqua Ring. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're not we're not playing games this time around. I'm about to EQ the the fucking shit out of you, big dog. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. See now we outspeed. Slam them fucking hands on the ground. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Here comes the origin pulse. Ah, Alex. Alex, no. God damn, Alex. Oh my lord! At least Alex can eat up one of those. He's not eating two. By any means. My lord. Okay, come on, Alex. You got this big dog. You got this big dog. He's body slamming you. If he goes for Origin Pulse, it's a wrap. We're dead. 
Now I swear to God, if I rock slide you right now and you die, I'm gonna be all different types of upset. Let's go. Rock slide did not do that much damage last time. There you go, there you go. Origin pulse. Down goes Alex. At least we get like the minimalist of min damage. God damn, Alex. That hurt to watch. It really, really did hurt to watch. We don't have anybody that has any status effect in our party. We don't. He gets popped by Origin Pulse. He gets popped by Ice Beam. He gets popped by Ice Beam. I bet you an Origin Pulse will bop him too. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how well Metagross can take one. I've been giving him... A Zinx, or whatever it is that raises special defense. We're gonna go for a uh, Pokeball. I probably could, me uh, not Meteor Mash, uh, Bullet Punch him and not kill him right now, but I don't want to risk it. We're gonna go for an Ultra Ball. We don't have any revive, so we only have so many throws we can make at this thing. Pops right back out. Pops right back out. Oh my lord. There goes the Orange Pulse. God! Two HP! <laughs> Two HP is what he lived on. I really want to bullet punch him just for GP right now. Just fuck it. Fuck it. I mean there's no point in sitting here trying to stall out just to get an ultra ball. I'm gonna I'm gonna try There we go. Nope. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try a basic amount of effort to catch this thing. He went for Aquarian again. Well, if you're gonna do that, you leave me with no choice but the bullet punch, nigga. You gotta lower you back down to the red. Go for Aqua Ring again. That's gonna bring you right back up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna molly wop the fuck out of you again with a bullet punch. Let's go. Urgh, stop it! Body slam. Down goes, down goes Metagross. Down goes Metagross. I repeat, down goes Metagross. That Aqua Ring is a bitch. Oh my lord. That's so annoying. My god, that's so annoying. I don't know what else I can do that won't just pop him. Because, I mean, Nimbus just gets bodied by Ice Beam immediately. Alright, let's go. I need you to stay in this Ultra Ball. Hey, we caught that motherfucker! Let's go! <laughs> No revise and we still caught him. Let's go. Oh my goodness, Alex Louise and Metagross. Oh my lord, what do we nickname Kyogre? What do we nickname a deity? That's like nicknaming you two. I can't nickname it. I, I honestly cannot nickname certain legendary Pokemon. I can't do it because I just hold them in such high regard and high esteem. I can't do it. I'm sorry. We're not doing a Nuzlocke either, so I don't I don't have to do it. I don't have to nickname him either. Oh my goodness. So we caught him, we caught him, we caught him, we caught him. Good. It's time to get up out, nigga. Look at how crazy this is. That's insane. Just like that. Are those all mega stones falling all over the region. <laughs> oh my lord. That was powerful. How does fat nigga got to say? We saved the world. Whew. That's Evergrande City. Wally's already there. Team Aqua Grunts and Lily Cove. Look at the little Whalmers. I feel like they're so much bigger than that, nigga. I swear to God. Matt is in Moss Deep. 
This big ass monkey ass nigga. Who the hell that light skin chick? She a little too light skinned to be in Team Aqua, if I do say so myself. Hey, show me your titty. <laughs> oh my God, like Nappy, it's really over, isn't it? Like, oh my God, Nappy, you saved the Starbucks. <laughs> Are you great? Thanks. Look above you. The sky over Sutopolis has returned to normal. The power which had been pooling within the Cave of Origin is now flowing back out into the world. Ugh! It's... It's so warm. Like he's pissing down his leg or some shit. Just now... Oh, oh my god, like just now my heart felt like it was about to be crushed by uncertainty and terror. But now it feels like it's been softly set at ease. Oh, black people. The land or the sea. Humans are Pokemon. When we sought to bring happiness to only one, we nearly destroyed both. Now the world's balance is restored to its natural state. Perhaps this is the time we must reconsider our ideals. Do you not agree, Archie? <sighs> I guess you're right. Maxie, what you're saying is only natural, I know that. But still, I can't just change. I love water, the world I believe to be ideal. The kind of world I dreamed of making where I could live alongside my beloved Pokemon that hasn't changed. I know I got nothing to stand on after causing this much hurt, but... Oh my god, like, shut your ass up. That's right. You caused a big fuss there when you almost brought down the about the downfall of the world, you big dope. No matter how much you beg, no one can forget that. But do you really need that forgiveness, though? Like, do you, Archie? Do you, boo-boo? Do you? Even if you are a big-ass, dumb-ass nigga who no one in the world will ever forgive, I'll... I'll stay with you, boo-boo! I still love you! I still love you! You my man! You my man! So please, stop going out on your own and acting crazy! You're our... You're Team Aqua's leader! And we're your friends, after all! Shelly! Baby girl! Sorry! And thanks! I must get away from this jungle love fest. <laughs> huh. We adults have a duty to pass this world along to the next generation. A world worth passing, passing along. What is it we truly need to do to create such a world? Take each other's hand in friendship? Or fight for the right of supremacy? I think it's time we consider this again with our team members and break down the wall between us. Alright, little nigga, you managed to use that red orb, so now let's see you try this on for size. If you give it to Kyogre, you should be able to control its primal reversion. Hey. Farewell. See ya. Oh, wait, no, he said farewell. Get up out, get up out, nigga. Get up out. Ba -da -ba -dum -bum -ba -dum. Steven, don't go! Don't leave us! Team Magma and Team Aqua are made up of people with completely opposing ideals and goals, but perhaps even they can learn to meet halfway, one small concession at a time. I know it's too much to expect that everything will change at once, but I hope this crisis might at least help make them, help them take that first vital step forward. I imagine that many changes are happening now all across Hoenn. I hope you'll be able to travel this world and see its richness with your own eyes, and revel in its newness in your own heart. But for the present, you may first wish to challenge this, poke this city's Pokemon Gym. There you'll find the very same Wallace who helped us so much waiting for you. He's strong. So strong. <laughs> but the way you are now, you should be capable of battling him on equal footing. And when you travel the world, you should try to use this. This fruit is one of my many favorite items. The Eon Flute. Ayy. This Eon Flute is proof of the bond between you and your Latias. No matter how far you may be from one another, play that flute and Latias will surely fly straight to you. Then it can take to the sky, soaring above the land with you astride on its back. Yes, just like when we first encountered Latios and Latias on, at Southern Island. People, Pokemon, nature itself, our survival in this world depends on all of us living together in harmony. I feel I have just begun to understand that. And now, I'm wondering how the world will continue to change from this point on. It fills me with an inexplicable excitement. Nappy, as you and your Pokemon live and grow in this changed world, I wonder what effect it will have on you. 
What will you think about? What ideals will you believe in? If we do get the chance to meet again, I hope you'll be able to show me and my team the answers you found. Until then. WHY YOU GOTTA GO? JUST STAY! NIGGA! MAN, FUCK YOU! <sighs> oh my god, like... <laughs> and it's finally just the two of us again. So I've got to say this, thanks for everything you've done for our region, Nappy. Like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You know, I thought we were supposed to have set up from Little Root together, but you, like, but you, Nappy, it seems like you just keep getting further and further ahead of me. Yeah, because you stupid. I even started to feel like you've gone somewhere that I even, I, I can't even reach. I don't know why you think we're even, like we're parallel or some shit. Like, I'm up here and you down here. It's pretty lonely, you know, like... Not! I have Cyrox! What would you think if I really said something like that? Like, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Anyways, you did something really amazing today, so try and take it easy for a while. Like, see you later! Get the fuck out of my face. Don't ever come back. Please. Like, for real, don't ever come back. Ain't nobody got time for you and your dumb ass. I swear for God, nigga. I swear for God. So we're finally allowed to enjoy our own time here. Wait, can we just go back in here? We can indeed travel back inside the Cave of Origin. I'll probably come back through here uh, whenever I, I recap and whatnot to see what's inside there. I feel like there's a Megastone in there or some shit like that. Like, It's too ominous just to allow the uh, Megastone to be there. Wait a minute. There's one- okay. There's one thing on here that caught my eye immediately as I came over here, and that's that big ass red flower. I can't place where I've seen that shit before. I don't know. I don't know. Does this does this no we don't need no more guy made repellent? Do we need to go does this take us to the Pokemon Center? Please tell us to take us to the Pokemon Center. Or the Sable Knight can just be chilling here in Sutopolis City. Like, it's not a goddamn thing is wrong. <laughs> you know, whatever floats your goddamn boat, niggas. I swear. Sable Knight just chilling over there. I can't get that flower! I can't figure it out. Well, maybe this guy would say something. Oh, you there, youngin. You's the one that saved Sutopolis. No, you're the one who saved all of Hoenn. Of all things, I really, I really must thank you most sincerely. I swear I will live what time I have left in the life, in this life to the fullest thanks to you. Like, why is that there? Whatever. <laughs> I can't figure it out. And that doesn't take us to the whatchamacallit. Goddamn Pokemon Center. Son of a bitch. So we gotta walk all the way back around here, because I want to see our Kyogre, because I don't want to jinx it or anything like that, but so far, throughout this entire Let's Play, we've gotten decent natures on a majority of our Pokemon. So I'm hoping and I'm praying that the Kyogre we get will have a decent nature as well. Fingers are crossed. Fingers are, in fact, crossed. So let me take a gander here and see what Pokemon we have. And see what we've gotten. See what we've gotten. See what we've got inside here, mate. In box one, just chilling, is a super ancient legendary Pokemon. It's impish. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I mean, impish lower special attack. Fuck! Why can't you be calm? Ah! Oh. I jinxed it! I should've never said anything! I should've never said anything! I jinxed it, just just mentioning it as we walked over here, I jinxed it. God damn it. Well! I mean, it's not terrible, it's not terrible, it's not terrible. I'll still scoop it up. We have, uh, oh, we have three beautiful moves on Kyogre. We should enter Kyogre into a beauty contest. Ooh. Ooh. 110. 85. Origin Pulse, fun fact, is actually weaker. And I think Precipice Blades, which is Primal Groudon's special move, has uh, 120 base power. But the reason that Kyogre's is weaker, because Kyogre is able to set up the rain. So, uh, the rain boosts it as well. So that's why they weakened it. 
But we need to give this thing an item. We need to give this thing the blue orb, if I'm not mistaken. Is it here? It's right there. Give it the blue orb, goddammit! And I think that we are actually going to go ahead and add this Pokemon to our team as the sixth member. And I know a lot of people are going to be upset over that because it's two water types on our team and it's a legendary Pokemon and yada 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 yada. But I'm going to throw the same reasoning to you that I threw at you for using Mega Metagross. It's just simply the fact that when are we ever going to get to use Primal Kyogre again? Like, like, gee shit, seriously, when are we ever going to get to use it again? If we ever do a Nuzlocke, people are going to say, oh, it's overpowered to use Primal Kyogre, Primal Kyogre in a Nuzlocke. You're not going to see it in Wi-Fi that much unless we play Ubers. So it's like, for the remainder of this Let's Play, I feel like it's okay if we use Kyogre. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and heal up our team. And wrap up this episode. I'm probably going to end up actually splitting this episode, or this recording, I should say, into two parts. So, technically, this is the end of episode 34 that you guys are watching right now. Which I know me saying this at the end, it just makes no sense. I just rather upload two separate episodes than one big ass hour long episode. Even though some of you guys ask for hour long episodes and whatnot, but still, it's whatever. So, either way, in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and take on a Zootopolis City Gym. We don't have anything else to do. I mean, I guess we could, like, go around and, you know, I guess, I guess it would be smarter for us to go and scoop up return for, um, whatchamacallit. It would be smarter for us to scoop up return for, um, Nimbus. Yo, you know what I just realized? How overpowered it would be. How overpowered it would be to have Primal Gr uh, Groudon in this, uh, in this, uh, final gym. I just want to end the episode, like, right here. Like, boom. It's nice and scenic and pretty. You know how overpowered it would be to have Primal Groudon on this gym? Because when he evolves, that desolate land ability he has just negates all water type attacks. So all of Wallace's gym is just screwed over if you have Primal Groudon. Ain't that about a bitch? By the way, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode right here. I'm gonna sit here and try and figure out... It just came to me! That's AZ Floet's flower! I knew, I knew it! Like, when we came out, I saw it, it caught my eye because nothing else over here looks like it. That's AZ's fucking Floet's flower. That's some crazy shit, yo. That's some crazy motherfucking shit. Oh my god, can we even get to that? We can't even get to that. Anyways, my mind has just been blown multiple times. Like I said, I'm probably going to end up cutting this recording into two separate parts, episode 33 and 34. Even though this part didn't have an intro to it, you guys already know, if you enjoyed today's episode, if you got as hype as I did, if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. But with that, I'm going to get up out. Like I said, next episode, episode 35, we're going to be taking on Wallace for our 8th and final Hoenn League Gym Badge. And then after that, it's the Elite Four. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. Thank you guys so much for your support. And thank you for checking out the video. You know me, YouTube, F192. Aha, I'm out.